It's one of the most amazing feelings in the world. You put on your winter coat for the first time this season, and when you put your hands in your pockets, boom, $20. You don't remember putting it there, you don't know exactly how it got there, but it is a gift from seemingly out of nowhere, from your past self. And what's wonderful is that you can actually replicate this feeling anytime you want. I'm Colin Wright, and you are watching Consider This. Every night, I reset my apartment. I wash all the dishes, I dry them, I put them away, I unplug everything, I charge up the things that will need charging for tomorrow first. I ensure that everything goes back where it needs to go so that when I wake up in the morning, I have an absolutely clean slate, a fresh start with which I can do absolutely anything. I do not have to make up for the mistakes of the day before or the expenditures, the energy expenditures from the day before, today. Today is a brand new day. That's the way that I tend to like to approach these types of things. And the way that I look at this the night before when I'm going through and cleaning everything, when I'm washing all those dishes, when I'm making sure that everything is, is tucked away and folded and dusted off, is that I'm doing a favor for my future self. It may be something that now I have a responsibility here and now, and it may take me a couple of minutes to get this done. But the time and the energy and the mindset that it saves me tomorrow will arguably be worth more than those couple of minutes and the energy that I spend doing it the night before. It's something that sets me up to be in the best possible position to get to work and to, to have a wonderful morning by the standards that I associate with having a wonderful morning and being able to get into the work zone. And so for me, this is an amazing investment and it's an amazing thing that I can do to essentially like put a 20 in my winter jacket for next year. It's the same type of gift for a future version of myself. But you can do this on like a massive scale too. It's not just very specific routines and habits. You can like not overeat so that you don't feel full and sluggish later. You can work out regularly so that you feel good more of the time. You can ensure that you don't go crazy with the alcohol so that you don't have a hangover the next day. Like there's just, there's some little things and then some very structural big things that you can do. But looking at these efforts as not just things that are disallowing you from having fun and from indulging now, but actually like they're seeds that you are planting because you're expecting to grow something much better and all you have to do is put in a little bit of time and effort now to plant that seed. This absolutely is not to say that you should always deny yourself stuff, that you should put off indulgences right now, that you should put off instant gratification. There are moments, there are times when that absolutely makes sense and there is a future version of you that will be able to indulge, but sometimes the present version of you needs to indulge more. And that's totally cool. Like that's going to happen a whole lot of the time anyway. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But it is important to recognize that you have the ability to do that math and to say, if I make a little sacrifice now, if I do a little task now, if I put in a little bit of effort now, will a future version of myself get like an outsized payout for that effort that I invest? And if so, it's very much worth considering doing that thing. It's very much considering fulfilling that task or making that minor sacrifice because then that means that future version of yourself will be able to indulge on a much larger scale. And again, that future version of you is you. It's important not to become imbalanced in this way and sway too far to one side or the other in terms of overindulgence now or putting everything off. You don't want to continuously invest for the future when that future may or may not ever come. You could put away every cent you ever make every day of your life and live on nothing but rice and water, only to never make it to the point where you get to benefit from all that money that you put away. You don't want to be that person who is continuously putting off enjoying life. But at the same time, you want to ensure that you've got an, a lot to look forward to. You've invested enough that the future version of yourself will be doing okay. But at the same time, you want to ensure that you can continue to enjoy the present as well. This present before all of those investments have vested. So take a look around, take a look around in your life at all these little things that you're doing and consider what might I be able to amplify? Where might I be able to get more value and more happiness, more productivity, more growth, whatever, if I just put off some of the rewards until tomorrow or until next week or until next year, instead of indulging 
now. Instead of eating all of the seeds right now, what if I planted them instead? Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a like, you can subscribe to my channel, you can leave a comment in the comment section below. You can find out more about me and my work at colin.io. My blog is exilelifestyle.com. My podcast is Let's Know Things, which you can find at letsknowthings.com or wherever you get your podcasts. And you can find me pretty much everywhere on the internet at Colin is my name.